and welcome back to my vlog. Uh, we're on to the 10th day of the 30-day mental diet. So, third of the way through, right? You always succeed. It is impossible for you to fail. Strange as it sounds, it is impossible for you to fail. For if you fail, you have, ex you have succeeded in being a failure. What is success? For the most part, people feel that they are a success in an endeavor when it has a favorable outcome and a failure when it is not accomplished. But this is not necessarily true. Closer consideration will show that success is the achievement of the dominant idea you have in mind and what you achieve always corresponds to your thinking. In this respect, you never fail, you always succeed. Whether the outcome of your endeavor is favorable or unfavorable does not enter into the matter. At what are you succeeding? You are accomplishing something all the time. Whether or not you like the result is for you to determine. If your experiences are unfavorable, perhaps it is time to start to succeed in something different, something more to your liking. For the most part, people seem to spend their time and effort in achieving those things which they don't want. How are you doing in this respect? In what ways are you succeeding? How is your health? How do you get along with other people? How is business? All good? All bad? Or a little of both? You can start right now to have a more enjoyable experience of success, but it can only begin with the way you are thinking. The start of success. Inasmuch as you always succeed in experiencing the content of your thought, it becomes a matter of vital concern as to what you are thinking. It is a matter of elementary logic that you cannot experience health if all your thoughts are of ill health. That you cannot have friends if you dislike people. That you cannot have a profitable business if you consistently know it is going to fail. Of course, there are many variations in the way you can think. For instance, you can spend all your time thinking about ill health, or divide it up so that half the time you think about ill health, and the other half about health. Or you can get completely over to the plus side and think only about health. The outcome of these various patterns of thinking is quite obvious. There only remains for you to decide in what way you want to succeed what you want to have become your experience. Success is automatic. There is nothing you can do about the fact that your pattern of thinking is successfully, fully, and completely manifested in your experience. Your thought is the pattern, the form, the channel for the creative action of the law of mind to produce tangible situations, conditions, and experiences that correspond to your thought. They are obviously good when your thoughts are good, but when they are not, it is a difficult situation to face. But face it, you must. Your only solution is to make certain that you keep your thinking under control. Entertain only those ideas which have a good content, which are free from worry, fear, and anxiety. Expect the favorable, not the unfavorable, to happen to you. The process of thought becoming thing is automatic. Your responsibility rests in controlling the nature of your thoughts. Success insurance. One of the toughest things you will ever have to do is to stand guardian over what you establish as your consistent patterns of thinking. Yet it is the most important thing you can ever do. You alone have the responsibility of determining what you are going to think, and in this responsibility rests the nature of your success, whether it will be good or bad. You need to decide right now that all your experiences are going to be favorable, that life is going to be a joyous adventure. Eliminate all ideas contrary to such concepts. Do not permit yourself to accept the necessity of negative conditions and situations about you. Your experience of a happy life is ensured to the extent you maintain favorable ideas in your thought. But this is not a part-time undertaking, neither is it a Pollyanna attitude. Rather, it of necessity must be a dynamic and positive mental act built on a conviction 
beyond all doubt that such ideas are creative of your experience. Not that they are creative of themselves, but that they are the channel through which the creative action of infinite intelligence flows. Start all over again. Regardless of what unfavorable ways you may have succeeded in the past, they have no hold on you once you decide to start to succeed in a favorable way. Every thought is the start of a new sequence of events, and you can have them be to your liking. Each moment is a new beginning, so start now to succeed in the things that make life a joyful, happy experience. Mental stimulants. Science. Just as tragedy and comedy can be written using the same letters, so many varied events in this world can be realized by the same atoms as long as they take up different positions and describe different movements. Democritus. Philosophy. The recognition of God, with the cosmic drive of which the life personality is the spearhead, is the only road to self-fulfillment. Louis Berman or Lewis, I don't know how he pronounced his own name. Religion, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Isaiah 55, 11. The diet. Today, from this moment on, I determine to succeed only in those things which are worthy, beneficial, and provide the greatest good. I let go of all ideas and concepts which are contrary to the good life I desire to live. Whether it be in relation to my health, those about me, or my affairs, I establish now in my mind ideas embodying the way I desire things to be. I consistently maintain these ideas and let nothing sway my conviction that they represent my experience as it is to become. I am rightly guided in establishing and maintaining those patterns of thought that correspond to the nature of God, which is good. I refuse to let myself be influenced by negative conditions and situations. I know that the creative action of the law of mind manifests in tangible form the content of my thought. Therefore, I let my thought dwell on only on things of benefit to myself and others, and I now expect only good things to happen to me. As I establish in my mind a pattern of thinking that accepts only good as my experience, this is what comes into being. I now succeed only in those things which are good. Capsule Supplement Success is always mine, and I now determine and declare that my thoughts, the pattern of my success, shall be like the thoughts of God, which are only good. Today I will apply this idea to these aspects of my thoughts and actions. Fill in the blank. My particular problem, condition, or situation which it can be used to correct is... Fill in the blank. Tomorrow, we develop confidence in ourself. Develop confidence in yourself is the name of 11th day's work, diet, whatever. I suppose it shouldn't be work. It should be play. Make it a great day, and bye for now.